Okay, I'm gonna show you how to set up a new and improved Wobble script. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because the original Wobble script, while it was useful and it worked pretty good, it generally didn't produce enough data and it basically didn't run long enough in a lot of cases to give you enough data to get a reliable result. And some people were mentioning that if they did manual wobbling, they'd get better results and things would look a little different. What we're doing now is we're going to use a Wobble script that allows you to move both roll and pitch at the same time. But the other nice thing about this is there's no time limit. It. so it'll run infinitely as long as you have the switch selected okay so there's basically three steps to this process step one the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the custom curves we're going to set up four curves two for roll we'll call r1 and r2 and two for pitch we'll call p1 and p2 you'll notice that r1 and r2 are actually diametrically opposite to one another and p1 and p2 are also opposite one another the purpose of this pattern is to move the copter in all different directions you get the impression that it seems kind of random when you actually run the script okay let's go into the actual curves themselves so if you go into r1 you'll notice the type is standard and we're going to use 17 points we use the standard because it makes all of the points equally spaced in time We'll use uh, the maximum number of points available, the 17 points. We're going to check smoothing. And for the first point, we're going to have 0. Point 0.2 is going to be 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0. Then 6 is going to be plus 50, 7, 0, minus 50, 0, plus 50, 0, minus 50, 0, and so on. For R2, we're going to do something very similar, but we're going to start in the opposite direction. So again, standard, 17 points, smoothing. So points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are all 0. Then point 6, instead of going up, we're going to go down to minus 50, 0. Then plus 50, 0, minus 50, 0, plus 50, 0, and so on. Then for P1 and P2, the pattern is going to be a little different. So for P1, we're going to start movement right away. So we're going to use standard spacing again, 17 points, smoothing on. Point 1 is going to be 0, point 2 is plus 50, 0, minus 50, 0, plus 50, 0, minus 50, 0, and then all zeros from point 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, followed by a minus 50, 0, plus 50, and 0. And then of course, like roll, we're going to do the complete opposite pattern to that for P2. We're going to actually go down first, so again, standard, 17 points, smoothing on. So point 1 is 0, then we're going to go minus 50 instead of plus 50. Then 0, 50, 0, minus 50, 0, plus 50, 0. Then 0 from point 9 to point 13. Then we're going to go up instead of down, so that point 14 is plus 50, 0, minus 50, and 0. Okay, that's our four patterns. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into we're going to go into the logical switches. So we're going to create two logical switches. The first is L1. We're going to have the function set to AND. And then we're going to choose the switch that we want to activate the movement. For me, I'm going to use the momentary switch back here. And you'll notice that when you click it one time, the arrow goes up. If you click it again, the arrow's down. I want the arrow down because I want the movement to start while I'm holding the button down. Okay? Then we're going to go to V2, and this is going to be L01, but we're going to select the inverse. So you might notice that you might see L01. And then if we hold the button, you can then select invert, and that'll give you inverted L01. Okay? And the next thing we're going to do with this one is we're going to add a delay of three seconds right here. Okay? That's for logical switch one. Now for logical switch two, we're going to again set the function and we're going to select our switch. So in this case, again, I want the arrow down. V2 is going to be inverted. And here we're not going to do anything. We're going to leave these blank. Okay? And that's all we do there. And then the last step, we're going to insert our patterns into the mixes. So starting with roll, aileron, we're going to insert. So the way you would do that normally is you would insert after, okay? And then we're going to edit that. 
and we can call the mix anything we want and in my case I just called it MOV we're gonna select the source to be L02 logical switch 2 we're gonna select our custom curve to be R1 and then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna set slow up at 1.5 seconds okay and then we're going to insert after again and in this case now we're going to use curve R2 so again we're going to use as a source logical switch 2 custom R2 we're again going to use slow up 1.5 seconds but we're also going to add a delay of 1.5 seconds so delay up will be set to 1.5 seconds okay and then we're going to do the same thing for pitch elevator so in this case we're going to again insert after and we're going to edit that pattern again source is logical switch 2 custom curve is going to be p1 for the first one again no delay here but slow up will we'll set to 1.5 seconds and then the second pattern will be insert here custom p2 and in this case we will have the like like with roll we'll have delay up 1.5 seconds and slow up 1.5 seconds and that's all there is to it so then we go back to our channel monitor you could imagine then we we uh we could arm the copter it's my arming switch on then i start to raise the throttle get the drone into a hover we're in angle mode you have to be in angle mode and then when you're ready to activate that movement switch you can just simply press it okay and then you have the pattern going all right i'm going to show you what that looks like in beta flight this can give you a sense on how this will look you can also it's a good way to test it is actually opening up beta flight now of course we're in acro mode so it's not going to hold the copter centered but let's just center it relatively close there and you'll get a sense on how this is going to look so imagine that i'm i arm the copter and then i run this wobble script so you can see it's basically i still have control here i can yeah i can roll So you see the pattern it's producing there. So it looks kind of random. Okay. So there you go. New and improved wobble script. As always, be safe, okay? And uh, let me know if you have any issues with this. Cheers. Wow.